results had some elements of weakness. Uh, there was rising stress that one could see hitting the performance uh, of uh, the numbers. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, slippage is high. Let's get straight to the uh, management. Joining us now is Mr. Chandrasekhar Ghosh, uh, the founder and the managing director and CEO of the bank. Uh, good morning, Mr. Ghosh. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, well, I have to start with the difficult part of uh, the uh, results, uh, which are really the slippages. Uh, you know, to what extent can you say they are one-off? Some of them are from your watch list, but not all of them are from the watch list. There are even outside watch list uh, slippages. Just give us a, a good perspective on what to expect going forward. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you for your time. Uh, this the uh, slippage actually has come from the pandemic time whatever we have given the restructure to the customer, that amount has come now in this quarter. Because the two trans we have been given the restructure, first trans has come uh, demand in a first April, uh, the last quarter, which has come to this quarter as a NPA. And second trans has come uh, also in the, in the first July, so which is now in a different bucket of the some slippages there. So for that region, this is in slippage has come. We know that this will come on that. And accordingly, we are also making a higher provision in the last year, second quarter, mm -hmm. which have been shown that the loss in that time. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Ghosh, give us some more color then. You know, the slippages from the watch list and from the non-watch list, both of them were higher. From the non-watch list, it was around 1,200 crores from around 800 crores. From year on, what should that number be like? For on a quarterly basis or on a yearly basis, if you want to give us that number? If you see that the, the pandemic, whatever heated in the ground level, mm. so one time we have been taken that all cost, but a normal sum of this, the slippage will come. Yeah. It is it is now coming on that the 500 to 800 crores has come to this the quarter basis on that. So when the second and third quarter will come, which the business growth, level is coming very high that time also this customer who are paying that is a uh, partial installment they will be like to come full installment paid and taken a loan for that time we have been given to them for that region we are feeling that the next two quarters is a very important for us and we see the trend in the before pandemic and pandemic last year time also it has given the very good uh, improvement of this the uh, uh, NPA sleep is on that. So Can you basically you're number? saying that emerging entrepreneur uh, vertical, uh, you are not washing your hands off. You still think they can uh, pay back? Uh, majorly, this the portfolio is in is in group loan, okay. uh, and which is a small ticket size, but in the bottom level of the customer whose the business have been stopped in the time of pandemic. Okay. Right. Let's talk about loan growth then. I mean, you were guiding for 20-25% of loan growth in uh, the year. The first half, we've seen a negative uh, loan growth. So for you to actually go ahead and meet your guidance, you'll have to grow at around 25-26% in the second half of this year. Do you think you'll be able to do that? And at what uh, margins would you be able to do that? Because your net interest margin too is near all-time lows. No, if you see that in the, this quarter also year on year basis, our advanced growth has come 22%. Hmm. Because of the, we are some amount have been right off. For that reason, it has been showing to the 17.5%. Hmm. So if it isn't showing on that, the second quarter is a 22% of the advanced growth. The next two quarters is in always given the higher growth rate of the advances. So we have the confidence on that the next two quarter, it will be like to cover on that the 25% growth of the business. Okay. And if you, if you look another side on that in the bank, the non micro credit um, loan has come as a 52% year on year basis growth. Mm. So diversification also happening in the bank, it will be given the very good portfolio quality risk uh, the, uh, point of view which is in that said that the secured and unsecured will be better way. Okay, so Mr. Ghosh, short point, you're sticking to 20, 25% loan growth for the year. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, all right, let's focus on the other point then, the NIMS. They have come down to around 7%. I'm looking at your CASA, and even if I club it with the TDS, that's the term deposits, that's come down a little bit. 
So your cost could go up. What is the steady state NIMS are you looking at from year on? If you could tell us that number, point number one. Point number two is credit cost. I think you were guiding for around 2.5% earlier. Now that will have to be revised, right? What is the new revised credit cost guidance? Uh, there is an, uh, first the point of that is the NIM. NIM are always, we are looking on that the 7.5 to 8% is our, our targeted and will be like to reach. Okay. Why it has come to this the one percent hmm. bill? Because of we are uh, the we are booked. This is a restructured loan as a NPA, and we reverse the interest. For that reason, it has come eighty basis point down, uh, and the normally it has come to this the uh, point of the nearly of the eight percent. So I have the confidence on that. The next two quarter it will become to the normal of the uh, uh, our need. If I come to the deposit point of view, deposit as a growth has come 21%. And if we see that the our CASA has come 41% of the total deposit, some CASA little bit has come down. The because of that, the because of interest rate increase in the bulk rate increase and the uh, fixed deposit rate increase. So some of the customer transferred their savings account, the balance to the fixed deposit box. So that have been come little bit on that, but I hope that we are not feeling any liquidity issue. So next two quarters, we also cover on that uh, and as a deposit. Right. You said that slippages will continue into the couple of next couple of quarters as well before things get better. Can you give us a sense of what kind of slippages can we expect in the next couple of quarters? An absolute number, perhaps a range, if not. No, if I say that the the uh, slippage is a two types of slippage. Hmm. One type of slippage which is a normal credit. Another type of uh, type of slippage which I already booked, which is called the restructure loan. Hmm. So normal slippage, it is in one to two percent. It is always booked on that. So because of some uh, slippage has come from the restructure and the uh, pandemic portfolio, so that bank has a feeling about that, it will be 3% will be like to end of this year. But uh, normally it will be 2 to 2.5 our credit cost. So credit cost will be 3% for this year and for FI24, you're guiding for around 2.2%, 2, 2, 2. 2 is that correct? Right. right. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, Mr. Ghosh, are you uh, looking at any other inorganic moves? You'll have done a lot of them uh, in the past couple of years. Anything else that you want to expand into? No, we are now focusing on that. You see that the Gruho we are already taken. And the Gruho loan is very good way now, uh, uh, given the growth of the bank. So we are focusing on that. And we are also focusing MSME growth in internally. The very good setup we have been built up. And that is also given to this 96% growth of the bank year on year. And retail also given 111% growth. So bank feeling that other than micro, all the vertical are set up in a good. good. And across the country, we are seeing that the very good demand. So we are trying to uh, capture that demand uh, by internal this the channels so that will be helpful for the bank for that no inorganic growth okay got that uh, uh, mr ghosh thank you very much indeed for joining us with uh, uh, a bunch of uh, nuances on your slippages on your uh, expectations of growth other than uh, in the mfi sector as well have a great uh, year ahead thank you for joining us thank you namaskar okay well